I love cells. They're the building blocks of complex life forms, and they taste great. They make up both plants and animals, but ask any farmer that produces animals on a large scale, and they'll tell you it's an expensive endeavor. It takes lots of land, time, and resources, and there are ethical concerns as well. If only there were a way to grow meat without having to grow the rest of the animal. Almost like a steak tree. Just walk up to the tree, pull off a steak, and cook it up. No fuss, no muss. As strange as it sounds, it may be possible in the future to buy a steak that came from a factory instead of a farm. Now before all you farmers pick up your pitchforks and riot, don't worry. It won't take away your way of life anytime soon, but work is in progress that may change farming forever. The work of Mark Post at Maastricht University is one of the first steps. Using muscle stem cells, he's successfully been able to grow strands of muscle tissue in the lab. In what he calls a relatively simple process, muscle stem cells multiply and then get seeded onto a scaffold. Then they can be differentiated into different tissues, which are grown and conditioned. The tissue gets fed sugars, proteins, and fatty acids, and it can even be stimulated and toned with an electric current. It's this type of process that could one day allow man to colonize space and have steak on the side. Now, some people turn away when they hear the word stem cells, but contrary to social conditioning, they aren't as controversial as you may think. Even the Vatican's recently approved of stem cell research. Some people even put their own stem cells in tissue banks. These cells have the ability to replicate themselves and to change into other types of tissue. This makes it easy to manipulate a few cells into becoming a large complex piece of tissue like meat. Now, if you think growing meat in a lab is gross, think about the alternative and tell me it isn't gross. In fact, when you think about meat grown in a factory, it could be safer, more consistent in flavor, and take a lot less energy and space to produce. Over time, it may become the expected norm, but at the moment there are still several hurdles to overcome before you see a factory-grown steak on your table. But when the day comes, it'll probably taste just as good as the real thing, if not better, and be better for you as well. So stay tuned for more science and stuff with The Taoist Flyer.